covering with tissue. Always a joy. Okay, now look, I've said it a few times now, I don't enjoy covering. I'm not particularly great at it. So if I can get it right, then you can get it right. Depends on what you call right. There's my way and there's better ways. <laughs> so I've decided to start covering the model and uh, I thought I'd get so far and then basically describe how, what I did and how I did it and then probably give you a quick demonstration um, on actually physically show you. So, okay, I tried to paper the uh, tissue paper, the, the nose. I quickly found that I was spending more time taking it off and redoing it than I was anything else. And I thought to myself, well, okay, when it comes to the nose, it's a solid piece of wood. I've doped it three times. I'll just spray over the top of it. Why not? It's more trouble than it's worth. There's going to be guys out there that can do this. I, I don't have that skill. Okay. However, so far, that's not looking too bad. Now, this is partly done. Uh, I've done up to about here with the dope and everything. So let me show you what I did. Basically, I cut to shape a piece of tissue to go over the top of the wings here, all right? I actually cut it to shape. I then used my tissue paste. I wasn't intending to use the tissue paste, but let me tell you why. I'm better at wings than, than the fuselage, okay? Few, the wings to me are not too difficult. I, don't, I think they're pretty straightforward. But fuselage is where you got odd shapes, different matter. Now, what you need to do, or what I did anyway, not telling you what to do, because there are better people at it than me, okay? Is put a bit of a uh, tissue paste uh, around here, uh, stick it down, take it over uh, to this part and stick your tape bit down, paste it down here, okay? And stretch it as best I can without breaking it while the tissue is dry. Some people will tell you to wet it first if you wet it first it'll just rip so there's obviously some sort of <clears throat> golden chariot here that i'm not au okay fait with but when i do it it just rips and tears so i've done it dry okay once that is dried on you, you do let it dry absolutely it doesn't take particularly long um i wouldn't go put in a, a a dryer on it or anything just leave it in the sun or something and you get a little bottle of water usually off, um, I nearly said something then, usually off of some young lady <laughs> has a spare one of these things. You just put water in. It's better to use deionized water, actually. It's supposed to put deionized water into your uh, iron when you're ironing. We're going to get down that road. And then you go, ch -ch -ch -ch, wet it. Let it dry naturally, okay? Don't go put in the a heat source. Let it dry naturally and it will go taut. Then you use your clear shrinking dope mixed with, well, I've got to buy some more from the shop today, some cellulose thinners. Okay. You thin it down. You get your brush, which I've, there it is. There's my brush. Okay. And now, and then you just brush it on. And that'll dry pretty quick in a few minutes, that'll be, that'll be dry. And it goes like this, like a drum, once it's gone dry. So then I do a, a second piece, like I do an underneath piece, a top piece, okay? And I have to dope these here next. But before I do that, I'm actually gonna show you how I put one piece on at a time. So in this instance, I'll just put this all to one side here. I'm gonna turn the camera down slightly and I'll, I'll show you exactly what I do. All right, I'm not saying this is the right way, this is just the way I'm doing it. Um, so there you go. So what I've done is I'm gonna be doing this piece here. All right, now what I've done is I've offered some paper up to it, like so, and I'll cut that out 
to shape. All right, has it got to be exact or anything? So I'm going to go to this halfway line here. All right. Now this is after you've sanded all the model down and everything. Let's turn it down a little bit more. If it will go a little bit more. Hang on. There you go. Nice. Oop. There you go. Hopefully that will stay there. Now, take your tissue paste and just dab on some tissue paste. Not too much. And you do it around the outer edges. Do not do not do the, the ribs. Do not do the ribs. You don't want to do that. Okay, and you just run your finger along it. Take off any excess. Okay. You can see that alright. Okay. And you go. Did I put some around there? I think I did, yeah. Bring the camera, camera up a little bit more. Okay. Now, put your lid back on. Most important. Okay. Grab your tissue. And then, before the glue sort of dries, you've got a few minutes, don't worry. Lay on one edge and I just run my thumb down it very, very gently. And then I sort of bring it round like so. Ever so gentle. And it comes to the opposite edge. Like that. Okay. And then as best as you can, just try and pull it, stretch it a little bit, not too much, only a little bit, okay? Like that. So there's no wrinkles in it. Now I'm going to stop it here because I'm going to let that dry naturally. It only take a few minutes, we'll let it dry naturally, okay? And then I'll show you what I do next right well the glue has now gone off and the paper's on so the next step is to take your preferably deionized water and your spray and you just do that that's it so we're going to do now you see how that sort of wrinkles up a bit okay don't worry about that that will come straight out uh, it's a bit of a sunny day today, so what I'm going to do, I'll leave it out in the sunshine and let it dry naturally, and then we'll apply some dope. Right, now, in your absence, I decided to quickly do both sides, because as things dry, you want them to dry equally and put in stress and tension on the fuse lines. So, just to save time, I did that. So, what, what do I do now? Well, I've got a little tray here with some of the um, clear shrinking dope. And now I'm going to add some thinners, which I must go out and buy some more, by the way. Add that in, like so. Simple as that. No science to it. But one, you want a one-to-one -one mix, really. Thin it all the way down. Okay more there than I need but never mind and now wipe off the excess and just do that that's all you got to do just do that okay it doesn't matter if you paint the well paint if you dope the, the wood it's all going to help okay and then put it to one side and let it dry naturally. Well, the dope's gone off. And as, as you can see, tight as a drum. And all you really need to do is just get some uh, fine glass paper. This is 800 and just use the glass paper and take off the edges. 
and you'll see there's no wrinkles in that whatsoever. And once the whole model has been covered, uh, you can go across the joints with your, your 800 and just lightly sand them uh, and they'll, they'll just go flat and then it'll be ready for uh, prepping and priming and painting etc. Uh, so I'm now going to finish this off and uh, go on to the next part. It's time to say goodbye.